Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Ignore the opinions of others. Don't take anything personally. Whatever people do. Feel, think, or say. Don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinions according to their belief systems. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. Now, that's a really strange card, man. I, kind of tough to understand. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 40, NASDAQ up 107, S&P's up 13 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down $6.60 at eight, $19.87 an ounce. We have silver down 32 cents, 23 dollars, 18 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude trading down two dollars 29 cents at 85 dollars 78 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds: a 10-year note up 13 ticks, trading 106.13. The 30-year is up a point and a half at 109.27. And king dollar, king dollar is down 588 ticks, trading 105.575. Euro is out here at a price point of 106. Yen is at 149, British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. The S&Ps looked over the cliff. Bottom line, Friday, you came down with volume. You were coming down right into the, in, the bottom of the consolidation. And, you know, bottom line, you could have jumped this creek in a second, man. And you didn't. The bottom line is that, yeah, the futures were down this morning. When you jump the creek, folks, though, the bottom line is that you literally, you know, you'd be down 30, 40 points, so you got a gap in the deal, and that's not what we got. What we got is that you had, you had the S&P's trade down to 4.1780. Your swing point there is 4.2018. It rejected it. You're going to have lighter volume in the swing point. The swing point is 103 million shares. Right now, we're only at 62. So you can see what happened. You're down there. They start buying the market again. Bottom line, now we'll see what kind of bounce we're going to get. We look at the NDX 100, same type of setup in the NDX. Now, you got to remember that the NDX, the last time that the NDX came into that swing point, it was also a one-day wonder. This time here, well, it was a one-day wonder, but it stayed under the swing point for a day. This time here, it did not stay under the swing point. It, we got down to the 351.12, rejected it ASAP, you're at 357. Now, it's going to be intriguing for the Qs. It looks like that the big tech is going to save the Qs, and the big tech will save the market because what we have out here this week, you got Amazon, you got Google, you got Microsoft. They're all coming out with numbers. But what's really going to save the market, or has saved the market, and we'll get into this, is going to be the bond market and the dollar. Let's get out a little bit further. We'll get on to the gold market next, okay? So the gold market, I, my take is the gold market not only has already taken off, it's going to take off like a rocket ship. And the reason I'm saying that is this. So picture, we just, the, the rates just kept going up, but yet gold was going up too. And, you know, depending on how long we've been in the gold market, you know, the mantra always was, oh, you get higher rates, gold's got to go down. Well, guess what? It didn't go down. Now what you've done, had is that you're probably setting up a very large ABC structure. You know, right now we're at the 1987. It looks to me like, 2129 is your next level. And, you know, we got here pretty quick. I mean, when you look, this is what's so intriguing. So listen to this. When you look at how fast we came off the bottom, wait, wait to see this, 5, 10, 15 days basically took back four and a half months. <laughs> yeah. That's normally just the other way around, folks. Like when you normally go down, that's what happens. But in this case, it was going up how it happened. Notes and bonds. This is the number right here, man. You heard of, when I was doing that update, the news everywhere. In fact, Bloomberg's backing this up again, saying, oh, 5% is going to be back, 5% is going to be back, 5% is going to be back my eye. The bottom line is that we woke up this morning, that 10 years hitting 5%, okay? Here, let me show you something. The 10-year hit 5% overnight when no one was trading. The, the high was 4.990, okay? Right now, we're at 4.844. And if you take a look at it, it's the 10-year, right? Everything's predicated on the 10-year, by the way, okay? That, that's, your credit cards are, the mortgages are, well, let's put it this way. Everything that 
you know, us as individuals, you know, deal with. Not, you know, market participants, yeah, they can deal with the two-year, they can deal with the 30-year, but market participants in general. And so look at the contraction of volume that we had. It was a monster contraction of volume on Friday. Today, bottom line, you, we get, well, you didn't even hit the lows today. That's what's amazing. I love the idea that we had the news and it didn't even hit the lows, okay? And then we go to King Dollar. It's all lined up, man. King Dollar has, you know, it was messing around last week, but that messing around, now it proves that that was building cause for lower price because now you get wide price spread again. This is the third time we have wide price spread coming off the highs. Now, what this sets up is going back to this 104.699. And that, the reason I'm, that's the number that it took quite a while to get through. So we'll see how it deals with that number, because that number is also, watch this, that number is also right around where the 0 0.382 retracement is. So the bear side of this is that it, it broke its uptrend, it's coming back. We'll see how it handles that 104.699. The bull side of the dollar is that it should have pulled back anyway, okay? Now, a 0.382 retracement is nothing, okay? So it's going to be crucial to see where this dollar lines up. My take is that it's going to go all the way to the bottom, and the reason I'm saying that, we're at the perfect time frame right now, meaning you're at the, we're at the 23rd of October. You have the big tech numbers coming out this week. We have window dressing next week. This market wants higher price. And it's still just shaky enough, you know. And because we've gone down so far, you know, this has been a one-way trip for quite some time. Uh, people won't close their positions as fast as they actually should until you do see a couple really good signs of strength in the S&Ps, and then you see some conviction, more conviction in the dollar as we go to lower price. Dow Industrials right now, down 69, the Nasdaq's up 92, S&Ps are up 9. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes.